Hi everyone, Jack from Life Skills Group here. We're going to take a quick run through of the Life Skills Go platform. We've made some huge updates and I want to show those to you today. The first thing you're going to be greeted with when you log in is your teacher dashboard or parent dashboard as well. On this dashboard, the first thing you'll be prompted to do is create a class. You can see here that I have a class and it's called Jack's class. You can have multiple classes and select through those. If you are sharing a class with a teacher, you have the capacity to come up here into this section and find the other teachers that you're sharing that class with and you'll be able to keep them together working on the same class. If I would like to create a new class, I can also do that inside the platform as well. If I travel to my student management section of my dashboard, I can see that I have all of my students listed in my class. I can select the small body here, which shows me the progress of my students, the badges that they have received. And if I would like to give my student a badge, I can come in here and say, this student has been showing gratitude. I would like to award them that gratitude badge. And then the student will receive that next time that they log in. I also have the option to be able to see the student's journal entries. When the student logs in, they can click on the new journal section and write a journal entry. It will then show up for the student on their dashboard and it will show up for me on my dashboard here as the teacher. You can also award a student a badge by simply selecting the badge icon and selecting the badge that you would like to award to that student and they will receive that next time that they log in. Once you have set up a class and added a student, the next step is to add some lessons for them to do. I already have a unit set up here which is called Healthy Skills for Life, but you have the capacity to come in and add a new unit. We have a range of suggested units that you could do with blue banners on them. You can see that we have some different units that you can complete and assign to the class. To be able to see what's inside of those, you can just click on the curriculum info and it will show you the lessons and the outcomes that apply to those lessons as well. If you would like to create your own unit, you can go to create unit and you'll be prompted with our six cogs. You'll recognize the first five cogs from the Castell model and then we've also added physical awareness as well. Depending on how you would like to run your unit, you can select one lesson to do with the class straight away, or you can select a bunch of lessons, and when you scroll to the bottom, those lessons will be generated in a list for you. You can also select the date that you would like those lessons to be available to the students as well, and create my unit. We're going to quickly go back to the unit that I have created, and you can see that by this green bar, all of my students have completed this lesson on the date that it was assigned to the students. If I would like to teach the lesson using the interactive whiteboard and I don't want the students to log in on their device, I can click start lesson and it will bring me to the start of the lesson from which we can continue through there. When I'm logged in as a student, I can see the lessons that are available for me to complete. And also this lesson is grayed out. It is a lesson that is coming up in the future because the date has been set past today. I also have the option to log in and do the student weather report. If I select how I am feeling here, I could be feeling quite sad at the moment. It's gonna send me to a guided breathing activity to complete. Once I've completed that guided breathing activity, it's going to ask me how I'm feeling again and I can respond to that and go back to my dashboard. Teachers will be able to see those responses in their reporting section of the dashboard. The structures of the lessons are quite similar. They will always begin with what we refer to as a weather report. In the weather report, the students are asked to respond with how they're feeling at the moment. A great place to be able to start to discuss emotions and feelings as they're going through. I could be feeling nervous at the time and I will be delivered a guided breathing activity to get me through the activity that is about to happen. I'm going to skip through that one nice and quick. After I've completed the guided breathing activity at the beginning of the lesson, it's then going to prompt me to respond with how I'm feeling now. Hopefully the students will be feeling calm. This lesson, as you can see at the top, is on what is honesty. Each of the lessons have a short introductory video explaining the topic to the students so that they can do the lesson themselves or together as the class. 
Following the video, the students will be prompted with questions that they need to respond to. Multiple choice, written response and drawing questions flow throughout the lesson. You can click on the small speech bubble and it'll read the, uh, the question out to the students and that's the same Telling the truth at all times. for the questions. I'm going to select that one there and it's going to show me with the green square that that was the correct response. If I, as I move through the lesson, I have different options. And sometimes I will get them incorrect. Can you think of a time when you were really honest? How did it make you feel? Draw a picture of this time. I'm just going to draw a love heart for now. And submit. All of the lessons also finish with an activity where it asks the students to be involved in a scenario. I'm going to click on the speech bubble at the top here and it asks, I have lost my friend's ball. What should I say? I'm sorry I've lost your ball or someone ran away with it. Asking the students to respond in what they think is the correct response if they're being honest. I'm sorry I lost your ball. Once the lesson is completed, I will be directed to a summary of the lesson with the seeds that I have gained from answering the questions. In the student dashboard, we have a few options for the students to be able to complete. If they click on their name in the top right hand corner, there's three things that they can work through here. First one is rewards. As the students are moving through the lessons, for all the correct responses they give, they, they receive seeds. They then have the option to donate those seeds to the Global Goals for Sustainable Development. A student can come in here, click on what, where they would like to donate, add the amount of seeds and donate. They also have the option outside of the lessons to journal inside the platform. You can see here that my student has completed six journal entries. If they would like to add another one, they go to the bottom, new journal entry, and they can draw, use the emojis, or type into the journal entry there. When they finish that, they save the journal and go back to the previous page. The final part are the badges. Badges are here for the students to be encouraged to complete activities in the lesson and also for students, for teachers, pardon me, to be able to give badges to students. As I'm going through the platform, I will receive badges for different areas and teachers will be able to award badges to the students as they see fit. We're going to take a look at my student responses in K-2. If I scroll down to what is respect, we can see that there are a range of responses that the students have given to the lesson. The first three questions in this activity were multiple choice and answered by the platform. The fourth question was a written response question where the students had to write a response to the question and I can mark that as correct or incorrect. And the fifth question was a drawing response activity where the students had to draw a picture in reply and I can also answer those as correct or incorrect. The final game section is also graded as well so we can see what the students' were, responses were to all of the questions in that activity. The other important part of the dashboard is the weather report. Inside the weather report I can see all of my students' responses. The roll call feature allows me to bring up my whole class on the interactive whiteboard and as the students come in in the morning they can tap on their name and they can also tap on the emotion that they are feeling today. Felix has selected he's feeling frustrated and Liam is feeling quite brave today. If I go back to my dashboard where the students can't see this side of things, I can see the responses that were given by the students and that way I can see everyone in my class and their emotions in the morning or even after break time nice and quickly. We would also like to have the capacity to take the learning off the screen as well. Inside the classroom resources, we have a range of 150 printable resources for you to be able to download and take and do activities in the classroom. Mindfulness activities, which apply to all grades from K to 6, are there and easy to access that you can use. You can just click on them and they will generate a PDF that you can print off and go through those activities as well. 
The second page is down the bottom. A short explanation of the activity and then some questions that correspond with those as well. Character strengths, non-competitive games, fundamental movement skills, warm-up games and yoga activities are all there to help you find things to do from the PDHP syllabus. Supporting the physical resources are brain breaks, guided breathing, guided visualizations, mindfulness exercises and relaxation stories. All of these videos sit inside the platform and you have the capacity to tap on them nice and quickly and I can see here that I have a smile mindfully activity that is going to last four minutes with my students. As well as looking after the students, we want to make sure that there are some teacher resources available as well. Inside the teacher resources section, we have the teacher wellbeing, so some guided uh, breathing activities that you can do also. And supporting that are the curriculum map and some master classes under there as well. So everything that we do maps back to the Australian curriculum. In the My School section for executives, you have the capacity to add and remove teachers in your school, print off a list of QR codes for everyone, all the students in your school, and, print, and hand them out individually, or you can create a unit for your whole school. Lots of stage leaders will create a unit for their stage and then assign that to the classes in their stages so that everyone is working through the same lessons at the same time. In the executive report, we can see that if a lesson has been completed, started or did not complete a lesson for each of the classes through each of the weeks of the term. Finally, we have the help and how to use section and the speech bubble at the bottom. These areas you can go to to try and find ways to answer questions and if you have any questions for us, you can type a message here and we'll respond to you as quickly as possible.